light pressure, light pressure, no brakes, no brakes, light pressure. Welcome back to the channel, this is Rich. In this video today, we are in the parking lot again. We're gonna talk about getting rid of the rear brakes. Now, we're talking about getting rid of the rear brakes. We're not talking about never ever using your rear brakes in slow speed maneuvers. What I'm talking about is use them as needed. And I guarantee, guarantee any pattern or anything you face out the street, your riding gonna be a lot smoother. You have a lot more fun, gonna be a lot safer. And you still, I wanna make this clear, you still cover your rear brakes. It doesn't mean that you have to use them 100% of the time. And the pattern I have today is super easy, simple pattern to set up for you to get some practice. And this pattern is the quintessential pattern. It's the one that, that you practice the most in order to get the bike to move under you, especially when you're trying to do U-turns. You know, a lot of people are afraid to lean their bikes in U-turns. Now, <laughs> don't get me wrong, we're not doing U-turns today. We're just gonna show you how to get it smoother by eliminating and reducing, eliminating and I should say, or reducing the pressure that you use on the rear brakes when you're doing your slow maneuvers. I mean, it happens all the time. You see it at rallies when riders are afraid to go slow and they put their landing gear down and saw a duck walking their bike. Imagine how you're gonna feel when you're just busting that U-turn. you weaving through everybody smoothly without stumbling and pumping on the rear brakes. The rear brakes are your friend. Speed in this pattern is your enemy. Now, I'm not saying eliminate the rear brakes and use the front brakes. Now, we know in slow skills, when you're turning, especially if you're coming to a stop, you do not want to hit that front brake at all. You know what's going to happen. So eliminate the front brake 100% when you're doing slow maneuvers. But today, we're just eliminating the rear brake. What I'm going to do is two runs using the rear brake and two runs without the rear brake, so you can see how smooth it get. And the pattern we're using today, it's just simple. Simple, simple pattern is gonna be the slow cone weave, or serpentine, or slalom, whatever you choose to call it. It's the same thing. And I have the cones spaced out on the lines here. I left my tape measure. I think the lines here per line is not like nine feet in a regular parking lot when the lines are 90 degree angle. These are on a slant, 45 degree, I think it is. And I think they are 12, maybe 13 feet. So I didn't have my tape measure. I just put it on the line so I can go run through it for you guys. But you're gonna see, when I'm using a brake, I'm not gonna intentionally try to be rough, but you'll see the difference between light pressure on a brake and going smoothly, and then no brakes going even smoother. So I'm gonna jump on this bike right quick, put my gear on and run through them really, really quick. So go out and practice this. I mean, I just used this, maybe not the other day, probably two weeks ago in a parking lot getting gas. The, the gas pump was on my right and the curb was probably about 30 feet away, but there was cars by the curb, right by all the, the iron plates where the trucks come in and fill up the gas pump. And I didn't feel like going all the way around because my exit was over here. So I decided, okay, let's go to a slow smooth. And you know, you heard the term, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. If you were into the military and into weapons or special forces, and I learned this term way back in the Navy. Now I wasn't the special forces in the Navy. And just when we were shooting, all the instructors were saying, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. You go slow, it's become smooth, and it's smooth and smooth become fast. And all of a sudden you're going fast and it's very smooth. No different than a motorcycle. So I don't know which one I'm gonna do first. I might do without the brakes first and then put the brakes in and show you how fast you can go with just a little pressure on the brakes. So enough talk. Oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, when I pulled out and made that, that turn from the, the gas station, I decided I don't wanna hit any of those metal plates got off the brakes and smoothly weaved between those metal plates. And I just felt good about it because all those practice pay off. Now, with the slow cone weave, it's gonna help you in any pattern because now you're really dipping and weaving and moving your bike. And obviously you don't need cones to do this, especially if you're in a lot and you know the space, you know 
the regular lots on nine feet. You want to do it with 18 feet, do it with 18 feet. But you got to dip and weave that bike. So this is going to make it a lot smoother. And I'm doing it on a big gold wing. If I could get to 12 feet on a big gold wing, I think it's 12 feet, I'm not sure. On a gold wing, you're going to kill this on your bike. Trust me, I know you're going to do it. So now enough talk, <laughs> let's get down to business. Okay, we're going to get started. What I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to do two runs. The first one is going to be going down without any brakes. And then I'm going to come from the opposite direction to show you how smooth you can be without any brakes. It's going to be pretty slow. I am going to control my speed with my clutch, maintain a steady throttle, but this time, no rear brakes. And if you do this throughout your daily riding, oh my goodness, it is golden. So we're going to do this first run, nice and slow, nice and smooth. Approach that first cone at a nice angle. No brakes. Let me put my feet out. No brakes. That last one's a little rough. I had to really get a little bit more speed by letting my clutch out. And even though I was going pretty slow, slow is smooth. Smooth is fast, like I said before. I'm going to do it again coming from the opposite direction. So you can see opposite direction. No brakes. Here we go. Starting now. No brakes. Controlling my speed with my clutch. Had to move my foot out of that one, else I would have hit it. Oh, I did hit it. <laughs> okay, I knocked one down. And I'm never satisfied. Because I knocked one down, I'm going to do it again. And show you, no brakes. I'm just going to leave it down, though. Foot is out. Nice and smooth. Controlling it with my clutch. And there you have it. No brakes at all. So I'm going to put this cone up and then I'm going to add the brakes and just show you how even more smooth you would be just with the brakes. Now, you're not going any faster. I'm going to keep it slow. And then, hold on. And then I'm going to do it just a tad bit faster in both directions. So you can see it from the front and rear with the brakes. But this next run is with brakes. Foot is on the brake, barely touching it, still regulating and controlling it with my clutch and my brake this time. Spin around. And do it again, coming from this direction with the brakes nice, slow, and smooth. And that's it. That is it. Now, don't go away. I'm going to go quickly through it and see how I can get this going at a decent speed without knocking any cones down. This is just the bonus I'm going to give you. If I'm doing it with a big gold wing, and a lot of people tell you, your gold wing cannot do 12 feet. A gold wing can't. Man, if I'm doing it with a gold wing, I'm telling you, you guys can do it with any bike. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Just keep the positive vibes going and get out here and practice. Go buy some cheap cones. If you don't use cones, just know the lines, measurements in the parking lot. Now retrain your brain. You don't always need the brakes. Now, like I said before, leave this alone. Leave that front brake alone when it comes to slow maneuvers. At no point in time, I'm touching the front brake at all. So let's get started. Soon as I turn the bike on. <laughs> this one's gonna be a little faster with brakes. Well, it's faster than the last time. Whip, 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 whip. Now, I didn't like that. Okay, I knocked one down. I didn't like that because I felt my RPMs going higher, which I don't want. Now I'm gonna go a little faster. Do I have to put that one back up? No, I can leave it where it is. Go a little quicker. Let me see, yeah, with the brakes. Maybe I'll probably knock some more down, I don't know. Quick up the brakes. One. Mm. 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 I know I knocked that one down. I heard it. Okay. I'm never satisfied. Even faster. I gotta go quicker. Gotta go quicker. Let me put it from this side and see what happens. Wind up scraping and scraping again. See, I told you in this exercise, speed is not your friend. 
So I'm gonna come across, go across again without picking every, anything up and go slower and make sure I clear all the cones, even though now some of them closer to each other. Right here, clear that, clear this one, clear that one, and clear that one. And that's how smooth you can be without using brakes and then finally putting your brake back into the weaves or your riding. Last time with brakes, light pressure, light pressure, no brakes, no brakes, light pressure. Now I got room to really weave between all of them. And that wasn't bad. Okay, that includes the exercise for the day. But I'm just seriously, seriously, people, here to tell you, lighten up on the rear brakes or eliminate them. When I'm pulling up from a curve or making a, a right turn, I very seldom use my brakes. I'm covering my brakes. I'm not telling you not to use it. Cover them and use them as needed. Go in the parking lot, practice something like this. Yes. One, two. I knocked two cones down going a lot faster. But then I decided to go slower again. You see, I was in more control. It's all about control, fun, just really loving what you're doing on a motorcycle and really controlling your bike. So when you get to that point to where you're doing a U-turn, this, you're gonna feel good because now you can lean your bike and you're not afraid to lean your bike by doing these exercises, okay? So go out there, take the brake away and start even practicing U-turns with no brakes. Start off wide, start at 24 feet if you need to, 27 feet, and start bringing it in little by little by little, then you'll see just with the clutch alone, you can make sharp U-turns. That's all I have for today. But if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Y'all know I'm not happy hitting those cones. I got to go put them up and get some more runs in.